Hello there everyone and welcome back. It's time to put the vicious and brutal methods of the Drukari behind us and go for something that's a little bit more slower pace or at least initially is going to be slower pace. For I'm going to be experimenting now with the Tau Merchant Fleet and these plethora of fighters and bombers available to it. Although I will say right now I am already interested in quickly doing like a second fleet for at least my next upcoming video which might experiment more with the Crute War Spears and the Demiurg. That is where I'm already heading for a certain style because I want to at least try and get some value out of these light cruisers. They just seem so out of place at least with how I played with the Merchant Fleet before just focusing almost exclusively on the Seeker Missiles and the Bombers to kind of get me victory and with the sheer health pool of these ships it wouldn't behoove me to try and ram every now and then too especially with the heroes and their 83 armor prows. So, I'm already feeling that itch to try something different, but for now we'll go with something that's more, at least familiar, with what you would probably expect with the town merchant fleet. So, at least we can get that perspective and just branch off from there. Have it be our starting point, as it were. For I don't... My secondary fleet, which I experimented with with 2v2, has been already, what, two crew war spears? I would argue maybe it would not be a good fleet for 2v2, but that's where my headspace is at. Although I would argue two war spears may be a little bit excessive considering their battleships and for kind of the same reason why I want to cut back on the rocks a little bit, why I'm using light cruiser versions of rocks as opposed to the battleship equivalent, they tend to take up a lot of point space and they don't really do a whole lot if they're just holding points so I still gotta figure that out a little bit. But for 1v1 there might be practicality but nonetheless this is kind of the main setup I'm gonna go for and of course with the water cast diplomat that's going to be essential for when I go that route, perhaps. But hang on to that idea for now, that might be for tomorrow's video. For now, I'm just going to go with the Railgun Shot for a bit of burst damage. That text of damage is a little misleading, I believe it was 300, maybe even 400 points of damage, if I'm remembering correctly. And Repair Drones for, at least if the fight's going to be dragged out. And then otherwise, a Mission to Disappear might be useful for trying to grab the points as quickly as I can for. I do rely on being able to sit on my ass a little bit due to the sheer slowness of these ships so a mission dissipator helps a bit there and in all honesty all these upgrades are very niche and probably not very practical for my fleet the speed boost kind of helps for obvious reasons i already said how slow my fleet is the the target coordinator could be good if i'm relying on a lot of macro weaponry and everything else hell this i this increased range to my weapons doesn't even work for my flagship for crying out loud the ones that's all fighters and bombers don't even have a single ion can, I'm pretty certain. So this is pointless. And Secret Turrets, this is an odd one for just a flagship. I kind of would like this to be a little bit weaker maybe and applies to all the ships. Since there was an upgrade on Model 1 that did the exact same thing. But it was just for all your ships, mind you. Since it seems really odd, it could be useful though if I'm willing to get bold and aggressive. But with my lack of mobility, this will be tricky to do. And otherwise, I'm hard pressed to figure out what other upgrades I want. Strobe field, maybe? There's possibility for that, to some extent. But nonetheless, let's get this started. Ooh, Corsairs, what a way to start off, good god. This, well, I have potential to reveal them relatively well with my sheer amount of fighters and maybe even using the auger probe, or recon probe, whatever the town equivalent's technically called, to kind of help cover my area that they can strike from and at least spot them ahead of time. Although, getting fighters and bombers on them is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be difficult to do. The convenience though, since if they have any cruisers and I reveal them, so long as I'm away from any obvious gas clouds, which thankfully, they're kind of really sparse. They can easily back up towards them, but I at least get constant vision until they reach those gas clouds. If they have light cruisers, that's a different story. Since my warm-up match was against Drukari, and that was a pain, a pain in the ass to try and do damage in general. Thankfully, I scared them so much that I kind of stalled them out, basically, with all my fighters. But by then, I was running out of steam. If they were a little bit faster, I feared that could have gone really badly for me. As far as dealing with my fighters and trying to deal with the bombers. Which I was kind of careful of, since they are my lifeblood. The secret missiles, I could fire them. I have to make sure they count, mind you, since I'm not getting them back, but the bombers, I ideally want them to return if there's any way possible to do that, so I can at least get consistent value. 
The trick though is I'm waiting for a full mid form to actually get rearmed if I'm gonna actually have any success with doing damage. Nonetheless, railgun shots gonna be annoying to try and get the hits there, and the beacon probe might be useful. Repair drones. I definitely say I want a repair drone, but I almost want a disruption bomb too. Well, who am I kidding? My railguns are gonna be very negligible if I were to be so honest. I would think anyway. Hell, most of them, let's see. I have ion, I have railguns. Well, the railguns are decent damage. There's just not enough of them in all honesty. And I have, ooh. Well, that's 90 degrees in the front, so that's clearly a lie. And then I have turrets there, 180 degrees at that. So I don't know how exactly I'm gonna play this match, aside for hoping I can reveal them quickly. It's gonna be tricky to do, mind you. I'm going to have to use my beacons to kind of get a little bit of vision. And ideally, keep my explorers, fighters back, so that way they don't get sniped down. Ideally. I don't know where exactly I want to go with that said. Actually, I should set waypoints too, that'll help a little bit. And most important factors actually listen. Ah, oh, crap. Well, that's annoying. The yeah, most important fact is to make sure that, hmm, orders, because of that little miscontrol, I kind of forgot what I was going to say, but keeping the frigates alive is important. I, don't, I only need one ideally to capture area. them, and we kind of know they're over on the left to a limited extent. But Where? most important, Get hmm, make sure I have fighters available for their eventual torpedoes, which I'm almost that certain they're utilizing to some extent. This just a bold, bold well for me the best, but maybe if I could get somewhere between here, I can at least have some kind of presence on the map with these three objectives. I'm going to have to likely forfeit this starting one, which leaves my frigates a little bit vulnerable to getting sniped if I'm not careful. So a beacon, that's always a good sign that my opponent at least is lower level, lower skilled. So there is some potential the there. And I'm good. And they have bombers, so thankfully. The big question, Foy Stalker? I think that might be a Foy Stalker there. How may I serve the tower? And you are just a frigate I could deal with for now. Actually, I'm gonna have to hold my point here. Your orders, oh, those are wrong frigates, but... Oh, Solaris is. Okay, so maybe I want to play defensive fighters instead. For Umbar, it will be so. Drive to so this can work out well for me, maybe. I gotta prioritize it. Eh, I want to say prioritize the generator, but that's when I have lots of macro weaponry to utilize, mind you. So I don't know what to think here, but a Void Stalker suggests that maybe I could defend this point with three frigates. And thankfully none of my frigates were actually shot down. Do I have enough fighters for this weird game? Ah dang it, I was kind of hoping you'd capture this point by now. I'm already fumbling my controls, but... When in doubt, launch more fighters I guess. Because my opponent is running a little bit scared for now. We just have no idea what we're up against though. But we kind of can get a read where they went. Is there any way I can help these fighters? Well, really, I, I should be getting closer. If I can outlast the bombers, that helps me some. Since... Nope. What is that? It's a Solaris. Two Solarises. I can't do anything about that, but that tells me there's only a single type of... What is it? I'm, I'm hoping these things are holding fire, mind you, which they're clearly not. Can we do a little bit of good ramming damage? These things are not exactly equipped, let alone oppressive, in the durability. Although, this is bad display right now. Alright, let's stick with the plan. Let's try and move forward and grab this third point. I am going to lose all these frigates last, but... Taking half the health of a dang frigate or a light cruiser is not too shabby. Alright. Is there any way we can... Any way we can deal with this? I can push forward. Let me actually prioritize this thing some, because it's not... Oh, who, who am I kidding? I, I don't even need to chase this thing. I'm thinking Drukari, dang with the shroud. 
Which doesn't really mean a whole lot. And I gotta defend this point. So I have a sheer amount of fighters to kind of fight this through. For now. Although apparently I used up all my fighters as well. Which, most of which are just sitting there and waiting for me to recover them. Damn it, damn it, damn it. At the same time though, probably not a big deal just yet. Not yet. I didn't fire any Seeker missiles. I can't deal with the Solarisists just yet. And you are going to have a pulse up in 30 seconds. About 30 seconds. So let's try to outlast these to some extent. Actually, who am I kidding? I got a beacon here to kind of at least solve a little bit of my problems. If only a little bit. Okay, I heard you moving, so... Let's try and grab this point. Probably not a smart idea with the frigate, mind you. But if I can get some decent points there, start getting this lead, that will help a lot. Do I? Am I comfortable with a hero out in the middle of nowhere? I am now, since I'll have a little bit early warning. Well, that's not really true. I'm I'm sinking 9,000 in range and not really the 13... What is it? 13,500 that the Void Stalker has. That's a little bit of a different story. But, gives me a little bit early warning. Slightly. Who knows how long a process this might take, though. Hey, sit tight, folks. This is going to be a while. It's just a question. Do I want to burn our pulse? 30 seconds. At your orders, Colonel. Okay, we know where the Void Stalker is. And he has the upgrades for the ridiculous range. Which doesn't do much on its own. Hell, I have the prow weaponry to help. But the adaptive deflector is completely gone on this one. I need to keep that in mind. And I do also have fire to launch. Just spot that thing. Although, you're not doing a good job when you're constantly, constantly wandering. Just soak the damage for now. I'll grab the point soon. And if you don't turn around, you're just going to get revealed. And I'm sort of kind of spotting your only spots to hide right now. Now, is there any way we could... Lock on at least gave me range. So, that's a start. Not a whole lot I could do about these, but can I launch fighters? I can. Although, I don't have very many fighters to kind of chase it. Oh, it's going to use... I know it's going to... The cursed thing's going to use the asteroid belt, which hopefully my fighters will immediately get recalled then. That would be kind of nice. Kind of be nice. Uh, I kind of regret that brace for impact because I kind of was expecting my opponent to, was it, to try and deal with them. Although they have lock on, they could stop run in a moment, but at least I could protect them for a the time being. And the beacon's gonna come up in about 12 seconds. This will help a little bit, just a little bit, but keeping these frigates alive is pretty damn key. And we know where the Foy Stalker is. If I can kill off those fighters, that will make things a little bit better for me. It'll go a great deal of their firepower. Hell, let me launch some bombers. Let me actually use bombers for a change. I am really reluctant to use my Seeker missiles for obvious reasons. They are not likely to do the damage necessary. And you are currently still at range, so we need to fix that. And that should hopefully kill off the fighters. And if I can re reveal said voice, Doctor, as convenient. Can the bombers get vision before this thing loses the vision of the objective? Alright. So you have no generator, so you go in there. And we have Salt Rain now. At your orders, Colonel. Bit of a weird match, needless to say, but I like to think this is the proper way to go, all things considering. I just 
am very uncertain how to get the most out of this, though. Because, in all honesty, I should have tried to secure these gas clouds within our beacon, since that's like the closest and most dangerous point. There. So we don't have the voice dark or last, and I did not notice the bombers, but they were just launched, mind you, that's from the Solaruses, so that's probably what happened there. Can we reveal this thing? We can, but not very well. And that's kind of part of the reason why I want that gas cloud detected. That was a mistake on my part. But... We have fighters in the way, and also I have repair drones. Let's not forget about that. That could be a bit of an oversight on my part. Especially since the one that has lack of generator can't do anything about it yet. Did I just mark you? Oh yeah, you were marked. Okay, that's convenient. At least we know what's going on here. Sadly, I can't ram you. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. Bombers did not get to do anything, but we still have two frigates up. I could deal with the Solaris as they kind of lost most of their bombers for now. And the Void Stalker's way out of the way. Just gotta be mindful of these sets of torpedoes, because I think the Solaris are gonna go up here. And then they'll get revealed, I just won't quite do the damage I would like. And there's 70 seconds for the beacon. I am. I did take the lead in score so far. And if I could kill some of these ships, that'd be great. But so far, one generator down. And I kind of want you in preparation for what's to come. Also, these things need... I wonder how many fighters are left on the dang Foy Stalker. Since I still have squadron of fighters for me, and two for at least. Alright. Where's my frigate? Do I have a frigate? Just not quite close enough just yet. This is going to be risky, so I gotta prepare for a potential voice stalker ambush. Okay, they ran away, so. Let's not blow up our ship in the process, if we could. And you're the one that lost the deck. I, less, I just like revealing this thing, since my opponent likes is prone to panicking quite a bit. It's just a question, can I do anything about it? At least it also has the effect of keeping my ship's fighters safe there, because I really do need them, but at this point I think my opponent is mostly on fumes and relying a lot on their bombers to, to kind of brute force their way. And you have luck on, so let's not forget about that and... Hmm. Again, I need to utilize these tick fan- Do not let them have this gas cloud, is the moral of the story here. Closing on your position. And that's a little excessive using bombers. How may I, I just don't know which one was launching the bombers, mind you. A Void Stalker is coming back. Gotta keep that in mind. It's actually gonna lose its point defense, so now is the situation I've kind of been wanting. Which might open me up for some Seeker Missiles, if I can keep constant vision on this thing. Alright. There's gonna be no point defense left, I just gotta take these shots and watch my Seeker Missiles. Because I kinda just fired them blindly without actually thinking about where the fire arc. Which, they're all going. Point defense are still repairing, but there's so many fighters there, it's almost impossible for that thing to deal with that. And sadly, I am losing the point, but Void Stalker has plenty to worry about. I just have Solaris to deal with here. And so far, it's only losing a small amount of its point defense so far, but 
that should be good. I kind of need more help, though. I don't think a single hero is going to be very intimidating. Okay, you got the point. That's fine. And it's already half health, so... Aw, dang it. Oh, was it a micro-warp jump? Is that what happened there? Mind you, I was not paying attention all that much, but I can easily grab this point still. Yep, it was. I don't think we're going to get the convenience of spying this thing, though. Because it is an asteroid belt, and unless I'm willing to sacrifice... The sad truth is my fighters are outrunning the frigate. Yes, get out of the asteroid belt. My opponent may not be utilizing the belt to his fullest or is panicking right now. And that folds amazingly well for me because that thing does not have salt running. Sadly, my bombers and secret missiles... Oh my god! Oh, they, they did lose target lock. I wasn't paying attention, so it was still visible for a brief period, is what I'm learning here. But now it has no means and that's gonna randomly get hit. Fighters are chasing it. You have accumulated Can I fire more Seeker points. Missiles? This is really risky because of just how scattered my Seeker Missiles are. But so long as the fighters are chasing it, it can't gain, it can't hide on me. And it just burnt a Micro Warp Jump. That's a little unfortunate, but I got support to help with this. If anything, it's keep protecting me from taking random fire, if I were to be honest. So fighters, seven point defense on that thing now. And if I can ram it, that would make my day nicely. And I want to launch fighters. I have seeker missiles. Now's the chance, time to do it. Hit the engines. That was a good hit. That was an even better hit. Why use seeker missiles when you got an even bigger seeker missile in the form of a hero ram? Which is technically what these ships are called. It just may not explain here, the Larshi. Or maybe that's just a variant of it, mind you. Those were amazing hits. Boom, boom. Oh my god. I honestly was not expecting to kill the Foy Stalker, but... More of the story, I think there we kind of overwhelmed our opponent a tiny bit. I won't lie, that I was a little bit intimidated by his potential matchup. Especially with the convenience of the Jukari, which again was my warm-up match, of being able to constantly stealth due to the shadow field. But it paid off nicely, and it wasn't a newer player in all honesty. Oh yeah, I kind of already knew that because of the micro warp jump, silly me. Interesting choice to have the Wraith Bone probe, though. I wonder the thought process there. But damn. I'm glad that was a win, at least. Don't know if it was entertaining to watch, though, if I were to be honest. Okay, Chaos. This is a little bit more reasonable. Sort of. Since they... And le oh, this is Siege, too, so maybe it's not so reasonable. I'm completely wrong in that fact. And the reason why I say that is probably because of the Siege Cloud. I, we haven't yet got to see it in all my YouTube videos just yet, aside for a brief period in my Chaos Guide video where I was used do what is it when I was using Siege for one of my well that was after my YouTube videos at least when I was experimenting with Siege that was where that clip was from if you were one who watched that video but otherwise we haven't actually got to see an actual a full effect mind you and that could be a little problematic with a 45 second gas cloud effect. Since I, if the Corsairs was any indication, I'm going to have a hard time doing damage. And the Chaos definitely have the range potential to keep hitting me, where I rely on Fission to do damage to them. But, I'm feeling really good after that Chaos match there. I like to think it was pretty damn impeccable. Maybe not perfect, since I'm not quite certain on how I could have forced a little more aggression on my opponent without risking the objectives. But, I like to think it was damn promising. 
I just want... I just need to really figure out where I want to situate myself for the purposes of objectives. Right here is the closest three conglomerate of object... Obje of object... Yeah. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time seeing objectives, but okay, we'll go with it. Since I... Oh, so I'll probably want to push here unless there are lots of Macro Kansas slaughters, maybe. We'll see. If I can't get reliable fission on them, I can overwhelm their point defense amazingly with the sheer amount of fighters I have, which is... At least for a merchant fleet, it's probably their greatest strength due to the fact they're battleships. If you don't account for the grav hooks they are utilizing to get their orcas in here. These things are basically 200 point battleships for crying out loud. With four fighter bays, which normally would be... You wouldn't think of really cheap battleships with four carrier bays on it. Oh, and I'm kind of... I'm kind of forgetting my boosting, but it did bite me in the ass at the beginning of the start there. Alright. Let's see what our opponent's up to here. They're four of arguably the same ship. And I somehow get the feeling maybe... Well, I saw that coming. I totally saw that coming. I just don't like the idea that my fighters are now flying off to their death. This is part of the reason why I don't like the aggressive uh, scouting of the, my fighters for situations like this. I'm just giving my opponent free fighter kills, which I don't like. Which doesn't make me happy. And it puts my fighters and bombers on cooldown to potentially deal with the, my objective being grabbed over here. Which I may actually send a hero over in that direction. I'll at least get some intel. It's just not going to help me. And there's the Siege Cloud in full effect. We serve the I probably could have. Yeah, I was talking about how there would be a Siege Cloud. I really should have got like a recon probe. Instead of this experimental railgun in all honesty. That'd probably be useful. Hmm. And if I could snipe these frigates, that's good. We'll see. And they're only 100 health frigates, so... I could brute force these things back decently enough. These, however, not so much. Can I at least... Yeah, they're Akrons as well, so let's keep that in mind. These are annoying little Akrons. Potentially. And those frigates just flew off in the middle of nowhere. Good god. But we know what the objective is. Well, that's convenient. I'm being saved by debris. If you just saw those lances hit absolutely nothing. You have seized a strategic area. But we know what my opponent's doing. This doesn't help me much though. Unless I'm willing to use seeker missiles. This can give me an opportunity to try and push forward, though. But I need fission if I want to catch them. Which Siege Cloud's not going to make that possible. And there's no way I can hide these ships easily enough. I did reveal them, and one of, one of them is the Desolator. Alright. And I do have missions to spare, right? I just got detected by normal means. So I think what I want to do is keep these frigates close at home. And try. Yeah, I'm just going to lose this objective. So what I want to do is just grab these other objectives at the process. Thankfully the repair drone is going to be amazing for this. So we're kind of okay in this front. For now. At your orders, Colonel. As the Ethereals wish. I just... I could... Uh, I should have launched fighters during this time. Maybe force... Since after all, there's no carrier ships. That may have been my big mistake there. Not launching the fighters. If I was confident to have the... 60 seconds of detection. I could technically launch them now. But it's probably a little late. Let's see. Try and launch a little bit more fighters. Not all of them, well, they're marked right now, so that's going to change in a moment. I have repair drones. About, oh, we have it. We have one of those little annoying buggers. I have, an, I have a solution for this. It's an unconventional solution, but I have a solution for this. Let's see, Prow's gone, but 
that does not mean much for the what is it? What am I trying to say here? It doesn't mean much for Adapted Deflector. Normally a prow being destroyed would mean I lose my heavy armor, but not in this case, at least. Now I am a bit of a sitting duck, but let's see if this freaking can do something for me. The enemy has seized a strategic area. God damn it. It would have been nice if I hit killed at least one of them, but I just missed by inches. The sad truth there is. Alright. Let's see, these freak seeker missiles aren't going to quite kill them, sadly, now. They're shooting down enough of them to make it a bit of a problem. But I can grab these objectives still. How may I serve the tower? The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic Actually, points. Actually, I have Asteroid Belt. I don't need... Let's force him to come to me. To a limited extent. How may I serve the oh, and fighters? Oh, the bomber's actually revealed to a limited extent. Okay. Let's see if we can get some points here and just protect my ships as much as possible. Since we will have a gas cloud, I want the frigates ready to kind of just be defended. Let's see. Frigates aren't doing a whole lot just yet, which is going to be annoying. But can I spot something? Now you need to be protected. That's the one thing that can screw me over is having my frigates sniped. And since you abandoned your post, well, you didn't quite abandon your post just yet. But we can follow you for now. Ten seconds till you're revealed, too, so... I hope I launch those bombers at a different frigate squadron. That's the only thing I'm hopeful of right now. They're just gonna get shot down, mind you. That's what the frigates are currently doing. So this is gonna be a little bit awkward, but hey. Let's have some fun here. Ram me. I have more. I have basically the same health as you. And let's not ram my frigate. Well, I guess I ran my frigate. Alright. So your micro warp jumping out. Structural integrity compromised. A little bit ballsy, but I still need to get something going. Well, actually, I sort of can now, can't I? You kind of left your frigate on its own, or cruiser, rather. Now, let me get the flagship going with the repairs. Oh, let's see, I'm in 9,000 unit range. Everything's getting repaired. And we have a gas club for good measure. This thing is all but dead. Gravity drive engaged. One cruiser down, I want to say, but with its mobility, maybe not. You have seized a strategic area. Yeah, could you, the bombers might fit get visual? Uh, maybe I, maybe I got a little bit too preemptive, but we have the objective here at least for now. Can we do the damage necessary? It's a big problem. Nope, my opponent's just panicking there, but it could still work for him. Sadly, there's enough distance there. Then maybe I'm not going to get what I want. Destroying these frigates will help a ton, though. How may I serve the town? Right now, we need to the keep these things alive. One of your strategic areas. <laughs> live, damn it, live! Okay, we're down to one frigate. That's going to be important. We serve the I have the health. I might just strip kill this frigate. Because it is currently on fire. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Can we do enough damage to justify it, though? And the most important thing is to make sure that crew. Oh, dang it! My fire base just got destroyed there too. So that's a little annoying. The enemy has accumulated. Do I have any more? I do have a fighter squadron. 
not much I could do about that just yet, since it's about 40 seconds until... Well, hold that tongue. We're launching fighters and not the bombers just yet. Actually, we can we can launch them too. Or at least the seeker missiles. And that took a lot of damage still. I may have forgot to prioritize components, mind you, but... With fission and with seeker missiles, we can do some good damage here. Actually, 9 seconds until... I want to see if I can rally that thing. And ideally repair it. Maybe what I should be doing is trying to get more aggressive. That could be my big mistake here. Since those are primed for damage, that's taken a lot of hits. But I am also running out of combustion gauge. This has promise, I just gotta somehow kill this thing. And only with one bomber squadron, I'm realizing, due to permit damage on this thing. So it might not be very exciting, since I'm going to lose all my objectives, but this gives me a lot more momentum, and maybe I can grab this objective. I would like to ram these things. I don't think it's going to be possible. Okay, I spoke too soon. I totally spoke too soon. My opponent's getting a little bit careless. Those torpedoes were scary, but not something I can't deal with. Come on, ram it and ideally kill it. This could turn this around, because if my opponent had continued playing the game they were playing, I would actually lose this. It's looking that way, at least. Now, what can I do? Launch bombers. And I have Experimental Railgun, which I know what exactly I'm going to use it on. I just got to force this thing to move, though. And ideally start grabbing these points. Do the bombers still do their damage? The bombers still did their damage, but wasn't enough damage, with that said. The enemy has seized a strategic Since their fleet was heavily crippled in that engagement, so it may not have been the smartest choice. It may not have. We serve the Although I'm still gonna need a friggin' am I. Maybe I should have prioritized the generators, because that actually would have turned off or made it impossible for the micro warp jump. Alright, ram me. Kamikaze it up. We're not out of the woods yet. But I have the speed to kind of chase this some. Oh, and I lost one of my hero cruisers too, so maybe... I kind of want to group up a bit. The enemy has seized a strategic area. The I don't quite have the firepower though. With... Yeah, this might still be a loss. It had real promise once I actually got close. It's just a question of how aggressive could, could I get. Since again, I'm kind of waiting for my bombers to actually get off cooldown to do anything. And burning all my combustion gauge does not help, but please. Please, by all means, do the stupidest thing. You have accumulated 50% of strategic points. This could turn around. I have... Remember, I have really heavy prow armor, and I'm braced for impact currently. So, I could technically kill this thing. Oh, that's annoying. I wasn't looking at the score, but that could have turned around. It had potential for a win, at least. Just having those frigates, not letting them get sniped as 
easily as he did really early on probably would have helped a ton. Since I lost the Raven there, but it was a close match and apparently it was high rank legendary, so... And somehow I got a promotion of legendary, so... It does prove promise. I just gotta figure out the nuances, since it's... I've only had like, an evening to really prepare with the Merchant Fleet after all, so I think that was huge promise potential.